GTA 5 by many is considered one of the best games ever and it has generated over 8 billion dollars of sales since its launch, but it hasn't really received lots of updates and has become repetitive recently. And the opposite of GTA's success is Fall Guys, let's just say it didn't do that well. So let's try to combine these two games together in order to make them fun and unique again. But I don't work at GTA nor at Fall Guys, so I can't just add one game onto another, meaning I'll have to make everything myself, from nothing. So first of all we need a car, because GTA has cars. Now, there's a very little tiny inconvenience. I don't really know how cars work in real life, but that's okay. I found this explanation on YouTube of how to fake car physics, which gave me enough information to be able to make this. It isn't really that hard to understand, there's basically suspension simulations on all corners of the vehicle, which keep it above the ground and we can make it go forwards or backwards or turn by just simply applying force to it in certain directions. I have to warn you though, um, the controls are kind of difficult and annoying, simply because physics are faked, so it feels different than your typical racing games. But you know, no, it's fine, it just takes some time to get used to. Anyway, this is cool and all, but having a cube as a car means we don't really have a car, so I decided to challenge myself and make my first ever car model in Blender, and it actually turned out pretty well in my opinion. So I then easily swapped out the cube with the model, and it already started to look way more realistic. I then tweaked these parameters, which influenced the whole car movement logic, colored the 3D model, and we finally have a working car. Let me be honest, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit how much time I've spend just driving around with it because it's actually pretty fun thanks to the weird wobbly physics. So the main idea of Fall Guys is that there's obstacles. I swapped out guys with cars but there's still fall. Well what I'm trying to say is that it's time to add obstacles and I'm let's just say I'm not that creative. Anyway I made a bounce pad which launches you in the air to bumper things which you can bump off of. Okay, not this much, yeah, yeah, like this. A conveyor thing which just speeds you up or slows you down. A fan which makes you float up in the air. A gate which has a chance to break when you bump into it. A ramp which is, well, self-explanatory. A cube thing which can push you off the map, which uh, at first didn't work that well. Yo, what is going on? <laughs> Where did it go? And this spinning thing which is also pretty self-explanatory, it just hits you. I then made a map prototype with all those obstacles in Blender and imported everything into Unreal. And as you could see in the earlier clips, I also added functionality to every obstacle in C++ code. If you're wondering coding wise, this was very easy because the obstacles are pretty simple. They're just applying impulses or force to the car. So I was able to get all of the obstacles done in like one day. Anyway, while testing around, there was this thing that when the car flips, you can't just unflip it. GDA counters this problem by making it so you have mid-air vehicle control, so that's what I had to implement too, which was very easy, it took me like 5 minutes. Now this is the only thing in the entire game which is completely not physics based, it just makes the car rotate manually in the air which can cause problems and glitches but I think it won't because the rotation is very slight as you can see, so um, let's just hope nothing goes wrong. So we have a car, we have obstacles, now we just need to put all of this together. I made 5 maps for the game, initial idea was to have maps in different difficulties from easiest to hardest, but I don't really know if this is more difficult than this anymore. Anyway, I also added speed display and this timer thing so that the game has some sort of goal. And hey, talking about the timer, I'm hosting a competition in my discord server, yeah, if you can get good times on the maps, I'll put your name on this manual leaderboard message thing for everyone to see, and you will receive a special role as well so hey if you want to try this game out and want it to be more interesting you could try beating my or other people's times as a challenge link in description so back to the game the sky just does not fit the look of everything so i went on a journey learning how to make custom skyboxes turns out setting them up in unreal isn't hard at all the difficult part is actually getting the skybox images, mostly because of the paywalls everywhere. But thanks to this website, I was able to generate some pretty good looking skyboxes for free, upscale them to 8k and import them into Unreal. Now all I have to do is drag this onto the default skybox provided by Unreal and boom, here we go, it's, it's way more beautiful now. Fun fact, custom skyboxes also for some reason increase the FPS by quite a lot, which is also <laughs> really cool. Anyway, I won't really show you the maps a lot because I just don't want to spoil the whole game out, so we have a reason to actually try it, you know. I also added checkpoints and cell shading, basically this cool color effect, and that was it for the gameplay. Now, in my older games, there were no menus because I just didn't really know how all of that shit works. So if you tried playing a game of mine, you probably noticed that when you launch it, you just start playing instantly, which is 
pretty stupid, so I think I should try to make a menu this time. And with the help of Unreal University, I was able to make a main menu, a settings menu for all of you who don't have the best PCs, myself included, a map menu, and a pause menu. Well, I kind of figured that out myself. But anyway, turns out menus are actually easy to make. All of them took me like a few hours, if not less, and the game feels way more complete now. Also, fun fact, the settings menu wasn't hard at all because Unreal just takes care of everything behind the scenes automatically. All I had to do is this to change an FPS limit setting, for example. As you can see, it's not a lot of work. So anyway, let's actually play the game now and see how it turned out. Yeah, so welcome back to my gaming video. This has been a gaming video all along, we just haven't realized it yet. Yeah, today we're playing Sky Race. Uh, I don't really like that name. If someone has a better one, please suggest it, <laughs> please. Uh, in my opinion, this is the hardest map, so that's that's the one I'm gonna play. You 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 gotta time this. You, okay. So yeah, this is this is all about timing. I think yeah. Oh, clean, clean. Bro, I I, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that that was clean. If you if you look at the time, I'm already like horrible. Okay, so this is this is what I like to call the sideways maneuver because it's like sideways, you know, like um, I don't know. So anyway, you need to like go up. Yes. Oh my God! First try. Nice. And he yeah, he, here's a checkpoint for you. Damn, that first try was actually cool. So now you need to jump. Yeah, that was easy. Um, I don't know. Maybe for speed running. Yeah, so as I was saying, you, you could maybe like use this for a speedrunning thing, you know? Okay, now this this is like pretty easy, you just have to go on either one of these, just don't go in the middle, I think, that's... And don't do this maybe, you know? Um, maybe maybe don't take my advice. Oh yeah, this game has like no sound, so it's quite, um, quite boring at times. But you know, it's fine, it's just a prototype. If I'm going to make the actual game, I want it to be like multiplayer, and I want it to you know, be actually better. Like, I'll add more cars, I'll add more obstacles, I'll add way more maps, I'll add so much shit, you know? You know what they say, 16th time is the charm, or whatever time, I don't know. Okay, now, 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 no! Oh, wait, it actually might be not possible. Like, I'm starting to really... Did I just make an impossible game? Okay, let's just... Wait, oh, you just gotta go fast! Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. These, these, like, push you off and shit, you know? So, like, you, ha you gotta be careful. Because these, um, these pusher things, they have random timings, you know, like when they go out and, and, and go in. <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, you just, you just gotta like wait for them to, you know, time. So for speedrunning strategies, um, there's not, not really lots of strategies, just luck here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I, you just gotta wait. I mean, maybe you could like go off of this into the lower platform that you can see. Oh, dude, wait, and I'm back back here Jesus, bro. What was I thinking when I was like setting up checkpoints? Okay, you just gotta go fast Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, I'm sorry if this like is actually getting boring for you. Okay, we finally did it and uh, no we... Um if anyone can complete that level, I'll I'll be very impressed uh, in your abilities. So yeah, I really want to make this game multiplayer because I think that's the only logical thing I can do with a game like this. But right now, I simply just don't have enough time for it because of school and homework and exams and all of that shit, you know? But if you really like the game, please let me know. I'll try my best to make it multiplayer in my summer holidays, which are in about two months for me. The link to the game is in the description. So yeah, as I said, any feedback about the game or about this video is highly appreciated. Feel free to comment anything on your mind and hey if you actually enjoyed this consider helping me out maybe dropping a like for the algorithm and you know uh, maybe even subscribe if you'd like you to recommend you more of my content and join our discord community because i'd love to chat with you so yeah thank you so much for watching till the end i appreciate that a lot because these videos actually take a long time to make and you should check this one out there's a high chance you'll enjoy that one as well so yeah thanks